So I am very delighted to communicate with you, even from far away. And uh, I am also very sad because of the coronavirus complications. So hello, everybody. I am your English teacher, Mr. Laziri Shafiq. So before we start talking about the past perfects, I would like to refer you to the present perfect that we studied a couple of weeks ago. So can you remind me what did we say about the present perfect? We have said that the present perfect is used to talk about an action which began in the past and we still feel its effects at the present time. For example, I have studied English for five years. I have studied English for five years. It means I studied English in the past and I am still studying English today. And we have said that the most common expressions we often use with the present perfect are since, for, already, yet, etc. These time expressions are clear indication that you have to use the present perfect. So today, we are going to see something completely different. Okay, the matter of focus is the past perfect. So the first question is, when do we use the past perfect? To talk about the past, the present, the future. Normally, the past perfect is used to show that one event in the past took place before another past event. In other words, for example, we have two actions in the past. Both actions took place in the past. So one happened before the other. The first event should be in the simple past. Sorry, the first event should be in the past perfect. And the second event should be in the past perfect. Because the earlier event, past perfect, and the later is the simple past. So here we have an example. When we arrived, the party had already started. So he arrived at simple past and had already started. So this is a past perfect. We have had plus past participle. It means first the party started, then we arrived. As you can see, so here we have two actions in the past. This is action or event one, and this is event two. Okay, so the earlier is in the, sim the simple past. Uh, sorry, in the past perfect, and the second one is in the simple past. Next, we form the past perfect with had plus past participle. For example, we have the verb to go is the infinitive, the simple past is went, and the past participle is gone. To take infinitive, the simple past is took, and the past participle is taken. So here we are dealing with the past participle. Be careful, okay? So, when we conjugate the verb in the past perfect, we don't have any change. We keep the same form of the verb with all the subject pronouns, as you can see on the board. For example, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they had left. No change. In the negative form, hadn't arrived. So, here we are dealing with irregular, and here we have regular verb. Next. We often use the past perfect with because and when. So these expressions are often used with the past perfect. Here we have an example. She was upset. Upset, it means very angry. She was upset because she had missed the flight. She missed the flight or she had missed the plane, okay? Next, when she got to the airport, the plane had already taken off. So when and because are often used with the past perfect. Next, we often use the past perfect with by the time plus simple past. So this expression by the time is often followed by the simple past. And here we have an example. By the time I was 21, I had traveled around the world. So try to keep this in mind. Next. When we use the words before and after, the past perfect is not required. So this is a very important point that you have to uh, keep in mind. When we have after and before, so we don't have to use the past perfect. Why? Because these two expressions 
make clear the order of events. So we have to use only the simple past. As we can see in the example, they arrived, simple past, a few minutes after we left. So we don't have here a past perfect because we have uh, the expression after. The same with before. So here in the second sentence, we don't need to use the past perfect because we have uh, before. As I said, these two expressions are used to make the order of events very clear, so the use of past perfect is not uh, required. I hope you can understand or you succeed to understand fully the course and the lesson. Now let's move to the last step, which is practice. So here, we are going to see to what extent did you succeed to understand these points I have discussed from the beginning. So, the question is complete with past simple or the past perfect. It depends on the context. So try to read the sentence carefully before choosing the right uh, form of the verb. I, and we have space, to Asia for the first time when I was 22. And the verb between bracket is uh, to go. The second one, I couldn't sleep last night because we have space, too much coffee, and the verb is to drink. Okay, so we have one minute time to think about the exercise, okay? Okay, come on. Okay, have you finished? Okay, let's do the correction all together. Okay, so, uh, sorry. You have to read the sentence carefully. So we have I to Asia for the first time when I was 22. And we have said when we use the past perfect, so normally we have two actions. The earlier event, the past perfect, and the later is the simple past. So as you can see here, we have the simple past. So automatically, the action here should be past perfect. Okay, the correct answer is I had gone. Had plus past participle to go is gone. It's very simple. Now let's go straight to the second one. So here we have, I couldn't sleep last night because too much coffee and the verb is to drink. So here we have the simple past, so he automatically the past perfect. To drink, the simple past is drunk, is written with A, and the past participle is drunk, is written with you. So be careful about the spelling. So here we have I had drunk. This is the right form, too much coffee. Okay, so uh, I am not going to take much of your time. I think everything is okay, so uh, there is nothing special. I hope you fully understand the course and the lesson, and we had a great time together. So thank you very much, and see you soon.